at the camera. <laughs> yeah, put your mic on. Damn mic on. There we go. Yeehaw. <laughs> you're, you're being dwarfed by an apple tree. The apple tree is closer to the camera than you. <laughs> it looks like a little tiny, little tiny Joe over by a big apple tree. Yeah, that's funny. So the, you know what the topic is today? Yeehaw! No, it's oh. the the best kept secrets of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh, we almost we almost did that yesterday. I know, but you know. Yeah, I know. We go, you were talking. You think it's news talkers? <laughs> I mean, talking all the day. Yeah, hold on, I have a phone call. Good morning. You're on the air. Don't you have a phone call? <laughs> well, I gave away a ticket. Good morning. Yeah, but you're talking too. That's the problem. You're on the air. <laughs> Am I on the air? Yes, you are. Do you not want to be on the air? It doesn't matter. I'll just turn the radio down. <laughs> well, that would be nice. Yeah, well, it would be a hell of an echo, echo, echo. I was up, calling four, four. about the, the tickets for menopause. Yeah. Okay. You know it's in Tampa, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. How many How many <laughs> would you like? Or are you going to do this live on the um, air? Yep. <laughs> could, I, could I have six? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you can. I, we're not going to give them away if we don't. Yes, okay, six. Okay, yes, six. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> and you know those well, things I'm are going to visit six. I'm going to visit five friends in Tampa to go with. Oh, so that's that's wow. You know how much each one is worth? About $45 each one. Yeah. And how much do I need to pay you? A uh, thank you. A uh, thank you. It costs you a thank you. <laughs> what is your first name? Bonnie. Bonnie. Okie doke, Bonnie. We'll have the six tickets for you in an envelope. It'll be a fun night. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. You got to come welcome. here and get them, though. Do you know where we are? Uh, no, but I'll find you. Okay, we're in the Paddock Mall, first of all. <laughs> okay. And we're near the food court. We're not in the food court. We're outside the doors of food the food court. Food court entrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I really welcome. appreciate it. Okay. Have fun. Right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. So you want to know? Uh, actually, this topic is gonna. I'm gonna rely on you to give me a lot of feedback. If I, I know the answer, because I don't know much about the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh, I can give you a lot of feedback, whether it's true or not. It's another story. Well, these are the uh, the best kept secrets of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh well, now now there's a secret. How am I supposed to know about them? Because you live there. Right? Oh, okay. I did. Yeah, for a long time. All right, at milepost 320. Uh, Let me say we're by boat. That'd be near Cherokee. <laughs> or it's at the other, and it's Blue Ridge Parkway, so that'd be near oh, Cherokee. Okay. I, don't, I don't know. I'm just yeah. telling you. There's a short trail that takes you to Chestoa View Overlook. Okay. Does that sound familiar? Go ahead. Continue on Overlook. Uh, it's one of the best views of the Blue Ridge with an elevation of 4,090 feet. That's just before you get to Mount Mitchell, I'm presuming. Okay. So that's that's Which one is secret. Which six thousand six hundred something feet so up. So if there. you go to the Blue Ridge Park, we just take notes, and we'll have some. This you can use this information. Google right. it later. Number two secret. Uh, after a strong rain, yes, there's a two hundred foot thin cascade that falls off of the Glass Mine Falls that you can see from Milepost three sixty one. Correct. Have you ever heard of Glass Mine Falls? I've seen the falls. I don't know. I didn't know the name of it. Though. So it only happens after a strong rain, huh? Strong. Well, there's other falls you drive by and it goes under. It, you see it in a, you make a curve and you see the falls coming down. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. a beautiful road. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, and the next one is the Pisgah Inn. This is actually an inn. Pisgah, Pisgah. What I say? Piscot. I say T. Pisca? Yeah. Pisca? But it, it, it's the Pisca Inn. Uh-huh. Beautiful place. Been there, yeah, many times. Uh, it's it's at 5,000 feet elevation, mm -hmm. uh, and the view is unmatched, unparalleled. Outstanding. Yes, it it's is. It's at mile marker uh, 408. Mm -hmm. Pisca Inn. Mm -hmm. So is the food as good as the uh, the view? I never ate there, though. Really? I, yeah, I just visited it. Gosh, it looks like a really fun place. It is. It is. All right, uh, the next one is that mile marker 413. Uh-huh. This is Pounding Mill Overlook. Pounding Mill Overlook. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Um, this is a place where monarch butterflies migrate every fall. Oh, I hadn't seen that. I should go there. Maybe I see Dolly Parton there. Pounding Mill Overlook. <laughs> or she likes she likes butterflies. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, really? No, oh, she loves butterflies. <laughs> I didn't make the connection. All right. Uh, the, the next, it's no good telling a joke if you can't get the connection. The next one is Milepost 418. Uh-huh. Um, it might seem like you've stepped out of the Blue Ridge and into the Midwest. It's called Graveyard Fields. Have you ever heard of Graveyard Fields? Uh, see, I've been through there, but I don't know what, what it was called. It's fl it's kind of flat. We're still on the Blue Ridge Parkway? Yeah. the whole okay. Everything's on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Because here. it changes the skyline when you get into Virginia. 
It's the same parkway, but they just oh, changed really? the name. Yeah. Well, it says Blue Ridge Parkway. Okay. okay. So mile marker 418 is where that one is. Mm-hmm. The next one is mile post 430. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for the place to catch a sunset on the Blue Ridge, look no further than Cowie Mountains Overlook. Cowie? Wow. C-O-W-E-E? Cowie, yeah. Cowie? Cowie? But I don't know where. I can't think of where that is. That's all right. Are we going to a comedy show with you tomorrow night? I'm going. You can come with me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I might get there before you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, you art- might see me there. <laughs> All right. Art lovers can visit three galleries and see the work of some of the finest oh, yes. artists, yes. sculptors, and potters that, in North Carolina. That's just outside of Asheville. At the Folk Art Center at Milepost 382. Yep. That's you, it. You know that place. Oh, I've been there many times. All right. Uh, it's, it's, it, is, it is cool. I mean, they've got rocking chairs made of... of uh, Lumber, but it's I'm no lumber. Limbs of the trees and everything, <laughs> right. which is lumber, yeah, right, but, yeah, right, right. but uncut lumber. And they were rocking chairs that are comfortable to actually sit in. Wow, you know, and, oh yeah, they have all kinds of folks, folksies, folksy kind of things. Folk art, yeah. And sometimes you go in there and they're uh, playing uh, the instruments. Oh, nice. Oh, it is cool. It is a cool area. And it's big. It's big. Yeah. Let's see. At mile marker 350, you have to take a hike, but it's only a half a mile, and you end up. <laughs> <laughs> Take a hike. <laughs> Take a hike, fella. And it's at, it's at <laughs> Green Knob Tower. Have you ever been to Green Knob Tower? Was it a half a half a mile hike? Yeah. No. Oh, you have to walk a half a mile. <laughs> I haven't been to Green Knob Tower. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been up there. there. Huh. Now, I, I, at Mount Mitchell, you walk up all the way to the observation, and that's something to see. Four states you see from there, I think. Really? You no, know, it's un- un- unbelievable. Uh, have you been there with Alex? Mount to Mitchell? The- I went to the Blue Ridge Parkway with Alex, but mm-hmm. I honestly don't know what I went to. Well, Mount Mitchell, it, it, it's, it's not mistakable. If, you're, if you've if you been there, you'll you'll always remember it. Because the actual doctor is buried up there at the top. Dr. Mount Mitchell. <laughs> Dr. Mitchell. Remember that. Really? Oh, yeah. But he was he was the oh. explorer of, of the, the the area, and he was going from one spot to another. He, he basically froze to death. What smells really good? Oh, oh my gosh. He froze to death. Must be me. Right. <laughs> oh, Gary had nice cologne on today. The, the Orchard at Alta Pass. Have you ever been there? Mm. It's a Sorry. unique stop for fresh, crisp apples. See, that sounds more like he's, he's getting towards Virginia. And they're calling it the Blue Ridge Parkway. They have hay rides and uh, fresh jams. What's oh, that? Mile marker 328. Does that tell you where mm. it is? No, it doesn't show me. I wish I had the map. I used to have a, a map. It'd show you where everything was, yeah. Uh, yeah. From mile post 305, a one-mile round-trip hike <laughs> takes you to the unique Beacon Heights. If I couldn't get there on a the motorcycle, I didn't go. Uh, this is a granite <laughs> rock face, perfect for sitting and taking in the panoramic views. No. Beacon Heights. No, I didn't go there. It's a one-mile round trip. That means only a half mile to get there. That's correct. Hmm. <laughs> but I didn't go there. You don't want to go? Not that I, oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. At mile post 334, you'll encounter a tiny town that seems to be built into the mountains. It's called Little Switzerland. Whoa. Oh, Little Switzerland. Okay, now, now I know where that is. Where's that? It's off of uh, Highway 221 from down below. You go up to the top, and basically it's it's uh, Little Switzerland. It's made like a little, and it's, the parkway goes across, right? and you go like a driveway. I'll call it a driveway from the parkway down to Little Switzerland. That's where, that's how close it is. Nice. Like chalets and it's, are there? Yep, yeah, chalets are there. And the, and wow. the, and the really? And the cocoa. Whatever. Oh, yeah. It's very oh. very tiny. It's, it's They have a little a little uh, motel there and everything. Okay, oh, yeah. so, so let me just give you some bearings here. So you know where that is. That's Correct. mile post 334. Well, the other one, the orchard at Alta Pass that you said was probably Virginia, is mile post, three, mile post 328. So, it's so that's right only close. six miles away. Okay, so it's got to be in the same area. Wow. So that's still that's still in North Carolina. There, yeah. Isn't that something? A little side story. Uh, there's a gentleman that my son and I did a wedding for because we used to do DJ works and everything. And he's, <clears throat> you have to know where it is, but there's a road that goes up to Little Switzerland, and there's a side road, and it looks just like a dirt road, except. All these multimillionaires live on this little side road. Oh, really? Yeah, it's closed. You can't get into it oh, unless you know. Wow. And basically, this is the man that invented the invisible fence for the dogs. Really? And How he owned cool. basically the side of the mountain. Wow. From where he was. And it was beautiful. Wow. It How was cool. gorgeous. You know, I'm going to make my fortune also with something invisible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a good. One. Okay. I'm all ears. <laughs> it 
with his little friend. <laughs> his little friend that is invisible. <laughs> and you have good night to it every night and good morning to it every morning. It's very rare for me it to is, make you speechless. I just was amazed. I, I had what, I, what was going could not come out <laughs> at the time. You just so stared, I had to clean it up. You just stared at me through that apple tree. That's right. <laughs> I said what I said, and we beat off the air, so I got saved. <laughs> So we just say, your little right. itty bitty friend, uh, the invisible friend, says good morning and good evening <laughs> under the sheets. Yes. All right, here's the next one. Uh, this invisible. is Devil's Courthouse. Have you ever been there? Milepost 422. Explain. That's all it says? Um, just all it says, yeah. <laughs> Boy, I hate that. You're sentenced to hell. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Devil's Crap. That's a mile marker of 422. I heard it wasn't so hot, but anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've, been, I've probably been through there, yes. Yeah. Mile marker 431. 431. Uh, you'll feel like you're floating in the clouds at the highest point on the Blue Ridge Parkway, Richland Balsam. Yes, been there many times. Elevation oh. 6,047 feet. I told you. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I bet it's pretty. Rich land balsam. It, there's, a, there's a marker there, and if you own a Goldwing or a motorcycle, you go online, and everybody pulls their motorcycle over there and takes a picture. Because it, it says, you know, how high you are. Oh, wow. And before it was, before the wisdom of the people that built the place, it used to be gravel and you can get, you know, motorcycle. Now they paved it so it's nice and easy. Get in, get out, boom, 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 boom. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, we've got two more. Uh, okay. Uh, at Blue Ridge, uh, mile marker 451, okay. there's Water Rock Knob. Mm. <laughs> Water Rock Knob. It's the second best place to see a sunset. Cowie Overlook is the best place to see a sunset. Cowie? You're saying Cowie. Or Cowie. C-O-W-E-E. Cowie. I don't know. Okay. Well. Would you see Maybe a sunset Kowie? from there? Kowie. Well, that's what they say. Mm. All right. Oh. The last one I have. Yes. Tell me, please. The wildly unique twin waterfall, Soco Falls, at mile marker 455. Soco? S-O-C-O. Yeah, Soco Falls. That's all, that's Cherokee. Just about in Cherokee. Yep. Oh. Soco Falls. And they're pretty. Yes. Oh, wow. Very, very nice. Very yeah. That sounds like a that's pretty place. gorgeous. Yeah, well, I drove the whole Blue Ridge Parkway on the bike from Cherokee all the way down to Front Royal, Virginia. The whole thing. And it is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Do I want to do it again? Yes. Oh, okay. I was going to think. Oh. I thought maybe you were going to say No. That. No, I'm being serious for a change. <laughs> you're not used to that, I know. It is It is good. the Blue Ridge Park. And they said, when you get in Virginia, watch out for the deer all the time. Uh-huh. We went through that whole thing. We seen one old deer with whiskers. He looked at us and <laughs> what? Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Really? That's how old he was. The damn thing had whiskers. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, I don't believe this. Wow. Not one deer, but they said you got to be very, very careful because, you know, they'll jump on front of you. And on a motorcycle, usually the deer wins. You know. I bet. But now that I have my trike, you know, I want to, mm -hmm. that'll be, I might, I might do it. Are you, you're yeah, a photographer, pretty. too. Oh, yes. Oh, you're So you must have lots of pictures of this. Yes. So. Yeah. yes. Where they are, I don't know. <laughs> we need to get you one of those cams for your helmet. Oh, go, go, oh, GoPro, go, yeah. GoPro or yeah, something. we need yeah. to get you one of those. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. I wonder if there's a way to turn it on, turn it off automatically without, you know. Oh, without having to stop and take <laughs> it off. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, you know, how long of a how long of a thing it has. But on that note, oh. this is <laughs> W-O-C-A Ocala. That's our Midday with Joe. Thank you. Thank you. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. House Republicans trying to work out differences on immigration. There's an effort underway to